for the updates. New business, Mr. Collins, to address. You'd like to address the board, the LIA president. How do you do? Yeah, y'all all right. But I was elected president of the LAA on uh, June 8, 19, well, 2013. A graduate of Redford Auction School. I've been a licensed auctioneer here in Louisiana since 1994. My license number is 1138. I'm also a member of the NAA, been that way for a while. I've worked for Marvin and Jeff and his family for over 25 years. They provided me with the education and the do's and don'ts of the auction business. I wouldn't be where I'm at without them. I'm most grateful to them for that. One thing I wanted to address is I wanted to bring, talk to y'all about bringing back continuing education for the auctioneers. I don't have anything laid out right now. We can do it on an annual or a semi-annual thing. We'll, I can put something together. I'd like to meet with y'all next meeting. It's in September. And we can tweak it from there as far as the logistics, the hours, the cost and everything else provided that. Like I said, I can submit it to y'all and open it being tweaked. I'm here to work with y'all however we can. And like I said, it's, I don't know if any president has ever become, come before y'all to introduce themselves. But like I said, we're here to work with y'all and you know, y'all govern us and we're acceptable to all that. Um, another thing that I really didn't want to bring up, but it's happened to me since I become president of the LAA, and it's unfortunate is you guys website the LAPA I told a relative of mine that I was elected president of the LAA in their first words so you're going to be the one that's in charge of all those criminals and thugs well I was pretty hurt by that I was shocked and hurt well they confused the LAA website with the LAPA website and were telling me your own people are talking about how dishonest y'all are I don't know what I can do about it, but it's it's not good. It's not good at all. Um, I've had other people mention it before to me. It's, it's not really good. Uh, I don't know why you guys got to be so negative. I know I'm supposed to be addressing the board, but I'm addressing you guys about it. Heck, if I was thinking about getting in the auction profession and I went on your website, I would never dream of becoming an auctioneer. Reading your website looks like the most unethical and criminal thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, I can't do anything about your website, but I would ask you guys to tone it down and at least put something positive on that website about the auction industry. All I read is negative and everything else. If you guys can help me with that, I'd appreciate it. I don't want to put y'all's website on our website. Somebody might bypass ours and go to yours. And like I said, I'm asking you kindly and professionally to tone it down, please. I think y'all should be in agreement with that. Like I said, if I, if I was putting myself in a customer's position and I accidentally went on your website, I'd doggone sure if I lived in Louisiana, I wouldn't even think about dispersing my assets through the auction. <coughs> Let me object. And if I did. Because he's addressing you, you, us you, you and not your, the board. Get and so somebody needs to That's pay. right. I'll be finishing in two seconds. All I'm saying, if I was a contractor, the board, if I was a contractor or a customer, if I did decide to go to auction route, I would hunt a company outside of Louisiana. I and like I said, I hate to bring this up, but it's gone too far. And no one else is saying anything. And, and like I said, I appreciate y'all's time. I'm here to work with y'all. I'm here to work with you guys. I really am. But let's stop the negativity and the, and the character assassinations and everything else on it. Thank y'all. Before you sit down.